Hello, seventh graders, and welcome to eighth grade registration with Mrs. Fortune and Mr. Childers. Today, we're going to talk about the different materials you're going to receive to help you with eighth grade registration, and that you can find all of these materials on the CMS Guidance Canvas page under eighth grade registration module. So first, one of the handouts you're going to receive is the course description book. Please make sure you read these course descriptions. Your teachers worked really hard on writing descriptions to help you choose your classes. Talk about these classes with your parents or teachers if you need to, to discuss what classes best fit you and your path. There are some required courses that all eighth graders have to take. So, and these will be entered for you in Skyward. All eighth graders take US history, which is a year long history class. All eighth graders take a year of math and this is based on what level of math you should be in, and it has been entered for you. All eighth graders take a year of eighth grade science, and then you get to choose between regular language arts or honors language arts. And then all eighth graders will take one semester of health and fitness, just like you did in seventh grade. The language arts teachers have put together a video because they wanna make sure that you're choosing honors language arts if it is right for you. We are here today to share information about the Centennial Middle School Honors Language Arts Program for the eighth grade. Here is the information about the Centennial Middle School Honors Language Arts So eighth graders get to choose three semester electives or one year long elective plus one semester long elective. Our year long electives are band or choir. Our semester long electives, which you can read descriptions about in the course description book, are CAD, drawing and painting, digital production, exploring engineering, family and consumer sciences, forensics, JROTC, ASB leadership, sculpture, team sports, or yoga. We do have one class called teacher's assistant. If you are interested in becoming a teacher or library assistant, please go to the CMS guidance tab in Hello ID and fill out an application. So the big thing to remember is to make sure that you're picking classes that you want to take. So in summary, that we won't be collecting any forms or, or there's no forms to sign or turn in. Everything will be completed in Skyward. Some classes will be auto-enrolled for you, such as your math, history, science, and health and fitness. You get to choose your language arts class and elective. So online registration is due one week uh, when it opens in Skyward. And Mrs. Fortune and myself will be visiting all the Patriot periods this next week to help answer any questions you have and to help you register for your classes. All your class selections, once you put them in Skyward, will automatically save. And Mrs. Fortune and I keep a copy of those in case we need to review those later. So to register for your classes, you're going to need to log into Hello ID and click into Skyward. So, and then we'll go to the schedule on the menu and then click on the registration for link 
uh, registration classes for next year. And I'll show that to you in a second. So I've logged into Skyward. I'm going to go down to Schedule on the menu on the left. And then at the top of the screen, middle, you'll see the request courses for next year. Over on the right are the courses that have been pre-selected for you, U.S. History, Health Fitness, your Math, and Science. The first thing that we need to do is select our Language Arts class. So, and our options are Honors Language Arts or Regular Language Arts. I'm going to choose Language Arts. And you can see that it has been moved over to the right. So next, I need to pick my elective classes. I am very interested in joining choir next year. So I'm going to highlight that and then click Add Course. And it, both of those classes have been moved over to the selected course style. So I have one class selection left since I only chose one class. And I'm going to choose ASB Leadership. Add Course. And your total credits, once you've selected all your classes, will equal up to six. You won't be able to add any more classes above six. If you've made a mistake, you can always change those. So maybe I changed my mind about ASB leadership. You can select it over here and remove course. And then go and choose the, cl the class that you wish you would have taken initially. So I put engineering in there. So it's very important. So once you've gotten all your classes in, you're not quite done. You need to select some alternates. So up at the top of the screen, you'll see another tab called Request Alternates. You want to click that class, and we need a backup. We need some backup selections. So earlier, I've already selected JRTC, Yoga, and Computer Aided Drafting Design. I'm also interested in adding that ASB Leadership class that I was debating or taking earlier. So I've added that class, and you can see it goes to the bottom of your ranking. So I have four alternates, and maybe ASB Leadership is my top alternate. I'm going to click this up arrow and move it to the top. So you can rank order which alternates you want to for Mrs. Fortune and I to look at if we need to do or choose an alternate class. So once you're done, you can exit out. It automatically saves and you are completed with your registration. You're going to receive a handout that also describes these steps for registration um, as part of the handouts from your teachers. We also have a program called Web Leaders, where everybody belongs. You might remember on the first day of school, all we had some helpers, some eighth grade helpers. Those were our web leaders. They've also come around to Patriot Periods and done some of our social emotional mon mindful Monday lessons. So if you would like to be a web leader, we need you. We need kind, responsible, reliable, and dedicated future eighth graders. Our goal is to decrease the stress related to starting middle school by having eighth grade leaders help our incoming seventh grade class. You will commit to attending a Friday after school training in June, attending a one day training to prepare in August before school starts, and attending the first day, seventh grade only day of school. And then there's more opportunities throughout the year, such as leading some of the lessons during Patriot Period. The web leader application is also available on the Counseling Canvas page along with the TA application. If you have any questions, make sure you talk with your teachers. They're a great resource for you to see which classes you should take. Talk with your parents, read over the course description books and just make sure that you're paying attention to any announcements for deadlines and things like that. And of course, remember you can always come see Mrs. Fortune or myself to answer or to ask us any questions about the registration or the process. All right, thanks guys.